Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So let me address something very, very important. There are currently two WhatsApp numbers for this channel. 876-458-9111. Is the general number 876 343 1034 is specific. So, for example, you want to send me questions to the lawyer, etc. Hear this now. If you want to contact me, send me written messages. If you try calling any of the numbers straight or try calling via WhatsApp, it is unlikely that you are going to be getting an answer. If you are going to send us a voice note, please start off by sending short voice notes. If you text me and you don't get a timely response, please just give me a nudge. Send me another message. Truth be told. Truth be told. If I was to get up on a daily basis and just be responding to messages or answering calls, I would not have time to do any video. Please, the two numbers are for the YouTube channel. They are not my personal numbers. So, please me I beg you know, Those chain messages, please, don't send them to it. Instead of sending me a message saying that you want to talk to me about something, just send me a message about that which you wish to speak about. I see persons texting and asking questions like, what is the number for the liar? That is waste of time. The videos are there on the channel. All you have to do is watch the videos. I am the only person who have access to my messages. Whether it's WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook Messenger or Twitter. And remember me tell you, it's not because I am selfish and don't want to employ anybody. But you see, I have been around for a long time. I have seen a lot of double crossing. I do not play when it comes on to confidentiality. I do not play when it comes on to person's security. So if you send me a message, rest assured, I am the only one who is going to read it. So nobody text me and say you want to talk to me about something. Just tell me what you want to talk about. And please remember, don't call. Try and send written messages. Alright? Now, in today's journey, we are back downtown Savannah Lamar. This video, it was shot Early Friday morning, we are taking a bird's eye view of downtown Savannah Lamar. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. Remember now, this Saturday, April 29, Farmer Miss Westmoreland Festival Queen Daniela Woodbine presents a backyard cookout. This will be held at her home at Grove Gardens in Savannah Lamar. There will be jerk chicken jerk pork and fish on the menu the sides will be rice and peas or festival as also raw veg or pasta now it's not too late to place your order just call our whatsapp 876 862 1036 or 876 309 5556 so this saturday april 29 Nobody cook. Daniela will have Saturday dinner delivered to you, whether you are at work or at home. If you want to go and pick it up for yourself, you can go to Grove Gardens in Savannah Lamar. Just call the numbers and make the arrangements. The numbers once again are 876-862-1036 or 876-309-5556. Check it out. In the news today. First up, yesterday morning, Saturday, April 22, a man, his name is Mr. Devon Little. He is 67 years old and he was a wood carver. Mr. Little, he lived at Rosites in the parish of St. James. We are learning that Mr. Little, he suffers from epilepsy. What we are learning is that about 10 o'clock yesterday morning, Mr. Little, he went to the Sweet River in the parish of Westmoreland to hold a swim. Time passed and some men 
who were working on a property nearby. They realized that Mr. Little, he had gone in the river for a long while, so they decided to check on what was happening. The men made checks and they saw his clothes and shoes on the river banking. They made further checks and they saw Mr. Little's body submerged in the water. An alarm was raised and the police and the fire department were contacted. Mr. Little's body was later fished out of the water by fire personnel. We are told that no marks of violence was seen on his body. No foul play is suspected, but a post-mortem examination will be done to ascertain Mr. Little's cause of death. Sad indeed. Now, over in the parish of St. Catherine, the Portmore Police, they are carrying out investigation to find out how an 82-year-old pensioner met his death. His name is Mr. Ralph Johnson, but he was popularly known as Salah. Salah, he was born on January 30, 1941. He lived at Walkers Avenue in the Gregory Park area in the parish of St. Catherine. We are told that Salah, he was last seen alive on Friday morning, April 21. Yesterday morning, Saturday, April 22, about 8 o'clock. Residents of Mexico in Portmore, they stumbled upon the lifeless body of Salah. He was seen lying face down with a pair of black slippers placed under his feet. The police, they were called and when they inspected Salah's body, he had bruises to both hands and the top of his feet. From all indication, Salah had died sometime before he was found. For the time being, the police, they are treating this as a case of undetermined death. A post-mortem examination will be done to ascertain Salah's cause of death. But in my mind, foul play is at hand. Salah is 82 years old. So the question is, who and why? Sad indeed. In this next incident, a hotel worker is dead and his girlfriend is in a serious condition in hospital. And this accident has speed written all over it. It took place early yesterday morning, Saturday, April 22, about 3 o'clock. It took place near to the Negril Town Centre, across from Hammond's Pastry in Negril, in the parish of Westmoreland. What we're learning is that that man on your screen, his name is Yande Gale. On December 20, last year, Yande, he celebrated his 30th birthday. Yande, he's from Hanbury District, in the parish of Manchester, but he was employed to the Royal Town Hotel in Negril as a bellman. He was driving a white 2013 Toyota Premio motor car. In the car with him was the owner of the car and his girlfriend, Yama, the same person. Her name is Celine. She also works at the Royal Town Hotel and she's from Shrewsbury District in the parish of Westmoreland. What we are learning is that Yande. He was driving along Namprel Road, heading into the Negril Town Centre. Now, if you look on your screen, here is the straight road that Yande was travelling on. And what we are learning is that Yande, I don't know where he was hurrying to or hurrying from, but in the Dadu Road. Yes, man. Yande, truth be told, he was going very fast. We are learning that Yande, he ended up losing control of the car. As a result, the car went across to the right-hand side of the road. You see the cones? That's the path that the car took. It went across the road and collided into a tree. Now, if you look on your screen, that is what's left of this 2013 Toyota Premium. Yande, he was trapped in the car and he had to be cut out of the car by fire personnel. Yande, he received serious head and bodily injuries and he died on the spot. While Selene, she received injuries to her head. She was rushed to hospital where she has been admitted in a serious condition. 
let's hope she pulled through sad indeed now in this next incident this one took place yesterday morning saturday april 22 about two o'clock it took place at macquarie district in the sandy bay police area in the parish of hanover what we are learning is that the hanover police they were on patrol in the area when they saw four men walking along the road the men on seeing the police jeep they all ran off one of the men he threw away an object while running the police chased them but they managed to escape in the dark the object that was dropped it was found and bingo it was found to be a small multicolored shoulder bag in the bag was a glock 27 9 mm pistol with the serial number intact it was affixed with a magazine containing 4.40 cartridges hanover police job well done this next incident it took place early this morning sunday april 23 about 12 30. it took place right in the vicinity of the unpredictable hq bar at bottomland in chester castle in the parish of Hanover. we are learning that a man he's popularly known as mickey mickey is about 30 years old we are learning that mickey he was standing behind a vehicle in front of the bar when a grey Toyota Fielder motor car drove past him. The car then turned, returned and stopped. Hoodlums in the car. They opened gunfire at Mickey, hitting him in his right side and his left foot. The hoodlums, they then sped away in the car, making good their escape. Mickey, he was rushed to a hospital where he was admitted in a serious condition the police were called and when they processed this crime scene three nine millimeter spin shells and three point four zero spin shells were recovered from the scene the mayhem in this next incident that man on your screen his name is mr ethan lewis but he's popularly known as shaggy he celebrated his 65th birthday just last month on march 26 shaggy he used to do the odd jobs cutting yards working on construction sites etc shaggy he used to live alone in an isolated area of lennox Bigoods in darlistan in the parish of westmoreland shaggy lived in a three-bedroom board and concrete house we are learning that shaggy he was last seen alive Thursday night, late Friday night, April 21, loud explosions were heard coming from the isolated area where Shaggy lived, but no one bothered to check. Yesterday morning, Saturday, April 22, about some minutes to 7 o'clock, we are told that residents of the area, they saw Shaggy's house on fire. As a result, the police and the fire department were contacted but by the time they reached the house and its contents were completely destroyed by fire because from all indication the fire started late friday night into early saturday morning checks were made and the charred remains of shaggy was seen on the floor the police they are carrying out investigation but it is highly suspected that shaggy he was killed and the house set ablaze. Sad indeed. The mayhem. Now, before I started recording this video, I received information that a jerk vendor was shot and killed early this morning in Montego Bay. This jerk vendor, he's popularly known as Dave. Now, I'm gathering all the details and will be updating this story in a subsequent video. Stand by for it. The mayhem. They may, so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, 
This one took place broad daylight. Yesterday morning, Saturday, April 22, about some minutes to 11 o'clock, it took place at Top Road in the vicinity of the Little London High School in the parish of Westmoreland. What we are learning is that a man, his name is Oswell Brown, but he's popularly known as Scatter. Just last week, Thursday, April 13, Scatter celebrated his 47th birthday. Scatter, he was a bike taxi operator and he lived at Ebenezer District at Top Road in the Little London Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. What we are learning is that Scatter, he was riding his black Jamco motorcycle along the Top Road main road when on reaching a section of the roadway. A white Toyota Axio motor car traveling in the opposite direction with two woodlums aboard intercepted the bike that Scatter was riding. The passenger, he came out of the car and opened gunfire at Scatter, hitting him in his upper body. The hoodlum, he then jumped back into the car and he and his crony, they made good their escape. Scatter, he was rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital by a passerby, but it was too late. He was pronounced DEAD on arrival at hospital. We are also learning that acting on intelligence, the Westmoreland Police, they carried out a raid at Ebenezer District at Top Road where the white Toyota Axio motor car was recovered by the police. The hoodlum who was driving the car at the time of the attack, he was also held. We are also learning that earlier in the morning, the two hoodlums who were in the Toyota Axio, they held up and robbed a cook shop operator at Big Bridge in the parish of Westmoreland. It is said that the two of them, they stopped at the cook shop and ordered something. While they were being served, they brandished guns and robbed the cook shop operator of a little bit over $20,000 in cash. We are also learning that the police, they found one 9mm pen shell in the Toyota Axio. We are learning that when the police processed the scene where the murder took place, six 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. With silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey, private and mash up Jamaica. Criminals, them and mash up Jamaica. Jamaicans mash up Jamaica. Criminals, 